The National Board for Professional Teaching Standards says that accomplished teachers value student engagement. So I'm just going to change that accomplished teachers to skillful teachers. Skillful teachers know how to keep students motivated by capturing their attention and immersing them in the learning process. So stay tuned for Tech Knowledge Tuesday as we look at just one of the ways we can do that. Hi, skillful teachers, and welcome to Skillful Teaching with Dr. Angela. I'm Angela McCord, skillful teacher turned education consultant. I created this channel to motivate, inspire, and uplift teachers everywhere, while also collaborating with more teachers and expanding my professional learning network. In today's Technology Tuesday session, we are going to create a virtual classroom with a dancing Bitmoji. The Bitmojis in the virtual classrooms are the new craze for keeping students engaged. It allows students to have a little bit more excitement. And I know I like to dance every now and then, right? And kids like to dance, so I'm sure they would be excited to have your classroom show up with a dancing Bitmoji. So let's head into the lab and see one way we can get that done. And be sure to keep watching because I'm gonna be dropping some little hints. I'm going to be giving away prizes soon. I'm working on my subscribers, so I have created different points to give some prizes away at every month. Mark. So the first mark is going to be at 500 subscribers. So if you know anyone who would enjoy looking at my videos, share them with them and ask them to like and subscribe. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started in the lab and um, start in Google Slides. And I just have a blank slide here. So I'm going to do a couple of examples just to share with you some basics of creating this. I'm not going to get too fancy because I can get in the zone and then it'll be hard to get me out, right? I don't want to fall into the vortex. I'll let you do that and share what you come up with in the comment sections below. So I am in Google Slides and I just named my slide virtual classroom Bitmoji dance. All right, so I'm going to share with you how to do the still Bitmoji and then the dancing Bitmoji in here. So we start by creating our classroom background by just searching for wall and floors. So I'm going to select insert and image and I'm going to search the web. I'm going to type in floor and wall or wall and floor background. All right, and then I'm gonna get several backgrounds that I can choose from. You can go crazy with your classroom, okay? Um, you even have some that have three walls. You know, you're really in the classroom, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little background. I'll take this first one. It's cute because it has a little tree there. And I'm going to insert that. Once you get your background, then you just want to size it up to be the same size as your slide so that all the white areas are covered. And then once you do that, then you start to add your images. So you just add the typical things that are in a classroom. A lot of the backgrounds, you'll get several ideas. They have chairs or sofas or both hammocks. I've even seen um, just a lot of nice things. The key thing about adding your objects is that when you go to insert and you select image, search the web, then you want to put the word transparent behind your objects. What this does is keeps that little funky border and stuff like that from around your objects and it gives you a PNG file with the clear background. So the first thing I'm going to look for is sofa and I'm going to type in transparent background or either transparent, it doesn't matter. And so here's a sofa. I'm going to try this one right here. I like that. So I'm just going to hit insert. And then you'll just size it down to about how large you want it. And it's there. Now, let's say, for instance, I like my sofa on the other side. So if I drag it over here, as you can see, that's not going to look so great. But I can use a formatting feature. Just right click on that image. Right. And then I'm going to go down to rotate. So I want to rotate my image and I want to rotate it horizontally. And then it's going to flip it. So now it's a nice sofa in the corner there where I want it. So then next, I'm going to insert a whiteboard. So same deal here. We're going to go to insert image, search the web, and then I'm going to type in whiteboard and then transparent. All right. 
and then so I have several options that's neat I even have the little smart board there if you have something like that in your classroom uh, when the kids saw you last oh you might have new kids this year we don't know how it's going to be but you know either way I'm going to go down and find something I like let's see I like this first one right here with the markers this looks like an older whiteboard let's see like a little smart board okay that'll work that's just a regular little whiteboard all right so see how it's a lot of um, space down here at the bottom i can use my crop to get rid of some of that so i'm going to click on crop image and then i'm just going to drag it up close to the bottom there and then hit crop again and then now i don't have all that space it doesn't really matter because you you can um get around putting things in front of it or behind it but if that bothers you you know as far as spacing and kind of logistics and trying to get everything in the right place like you want it then you can change that all right so next a bookshelf okay so that's what's in a lot of rooms bookshelves and books right so i'm going to go to insert image search the web I'm going to type in bookshelf and transparent and you see there's several okay you can choose any of these bookshelves that are empty there and then you want to add your books onto it right and those can be links hyperlinks to different places I'm going to take this one that's on the wall here since I don't have a lot of space on the floor that's nice and I'm going to select that and it is huge of course so I'm going to scale it down and slide it over here by above my sofa here all right so now i can put some books on that bookshelf next let's see a book all right so you can go to images and insert um, image in a book but also you can get the actual image cover so i recommend going to google and googling whatever cover titles you like and then insert them so i found one that I've been reading with some of my young readers. Yes, that is a great book, especially for um, the younger readers. All right, so I'm gonna crop that to get that gray area out of there because I don't want that. So I'm gonna just crop it and bring that down and bring that up and then hit crop again there. So that's taking out the gray. Then all I need to do is just resize it a little bit so it can fit on my shelf there all right so there i have my book on the shelf there and remember you can right click and create a hyperlink and then that book will go to wherever you want it like i've seen some classrooms where teachers have this hyperlinked to a video where the teacher is doing a read aloud that would be so cool also i've seen um, the hyperlinks go to different websites that have books that are read aloud to the students so you can get very creative with the hyperlinks you're ready for your bitmoji so with the bitmoji the coolest thing is to go to google chrome and add the bitmoji extension so that way you can easily have bitmoji right there on your toolbar and then you can just right click on your bitmoji i typed in sitting just paste it in there you go so there i am that's me without my party hat <laughs> all right and then um she's sitting right there okay so now we have uh, we want to put in maybe something on the board so you can always type in something and use the font here or if you have something else you'd like to place on the board for students like a little welcome message i'm going to put that in and just insert that little welcome message all right and then i'm going to make it small enough to fit in the board here we go now if you want to change the colors of some of your objects that you place in to get a good color scheme going on right because this is a little drab maybe not it's popping right you have some limited capabilities to change color for instance if i want to change this sofa i'm going to click on the sofa i'm going to go ahead and open up my formatting options by formatting right click or it's also in the toolbar up here and then you see where it says recolor so i'm going to drop down on the recolor and then it will show me if there are any available options and i can just play with those until i get one that i like but for right now i'm going to go with this green because that oh yeah that's popping right there that's popping okay and now i think i'm ready for the dancing teacher so you see the still teacher and now i'm going to insert the dancing teacher the bitmoji 
So upload that from my computer. All right, so once it comes in, it's a little small there. So I'm gonna use the cropping again to go ahead and crop that Bitmoji. All right, once I do that, then I can bring the Bitmoji over here and make it a little larger because she's kind of a miniature teacher right now. And if your lines come outside of the slideshow, it doesn't really matter because it won't show once it's in um, slideshow mode. So you're fine. All right. So I'm going to get rid of that boring teacher sitting over there on the couch. And then we're going to go with this teacher. Now all you need is some music, right? You know, some good music. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this on present mode with some good music. And the kids are coming in and you're waiting for them to come in. They are going to have a ball. You can even put something on the board asking them to do something, type something special into the chat. Okay, so they're going to love that. So all kinds of dance moves, right? All right, so now that we know how to get this done, we are ready to uh, see how to create our dancing bit mode. And it starts with Snapchat. Okay, once you're in Snapchat, then you are going to click on Discover at the bottom right. And then in the search, you're going to type in Bitmoji Dance. And that is going to give you several different types of dances to choose from at the bottom. And so I chose Hip Hop Dance, of course if that is not a secret. And then you're going to record your Bitmoji. Of course, have Bitmoji downloaded on your phone and it's going to take the current Bitmoji that you have. So go ahead and click on the circle and you just want to record about three seconds after you get it how you want it to look. And then click the save button and download it on your phone. Now you're going to go to the unscreen.com. Do this on the computer though. Upload your video and then let it remove the background and then download. This is the perfect time to subscribe now. After 500 subscribers, I will be giving away a free Audible credit so you can get a free book. Yeah, man, you're a red gem. Don't mind what you say, don't say that. I've been to Rwanda, Uganda, Ghana, Morocco, Toronto, once a way to act, but I've never ever seen it so far like. Tip number one, if you will be creating this classroom and engaging your students in an asynchronous session where they are working independently on their own, export your virtual classroom out of Google Classroom into a PDF. All of the links will still work. Whether you're in Classroom or Seesaw, they will have the PDF and they will still work, the hyperlinks. You just can't have the dancer in there. Tip number two, if you will be engaging your students in a synchronous session where all of you guys are together at one time, this is gonna be the best place to use your dancing Bitmoji because you can open it up in the show and you control the show. And tip three, since Google Slides is very limited on those wonderful fonts we like to use, create your fonts in Microsoft PowerPoint. Then save it as a picture. Then when you go into your Google Classroom, upload it as an image. There you have it. Creating a virtual classroom with your Bitmoji dancing all around. I would love to see your virtual classrooms. So drop me a link in the description below to what you've created. Drop me a comment and let me know other Technology Tuesday topics that you would like to see right here on this channel. Let's work together because we know quality teaching is quality education.